Hello everyone, Alex here as you are very much well aware and I am joined here by Brian from Luxid Labs. How are you doing man? Hi, hi I'm Brian, yeah. This is Brian and I don't know if you've ever tr wanted to control VR with your brain but the fine folks here at Luxid Labs from South Korea are developing software and technology to do exactly that. Isn't that true? Yes, yeah. So we developed uh, our own EEG sensor. It means the uh, brainwave sensor that can leave the, your electrical activity in, in the brain and we capture the prefrontal cortex activity using our sensor and we translate uh, by our algorithm and we provide the uh, attention level and relaxation level and the brain balance levels and the preference levels also. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's all. That's so, so the, the gist of it, and I had the, I just had the opportunity to demo the the software and the and the hardware. It's awesome, really, really cool experience. The gist of it um, is that it's kind of like the difference between relaxing and paying very much attention to something, right? Yeah, yeah. So when when you relax down, the brain activity, uh, so especially alpha and beta and the gamma rhythms, will change. It. And uh, when you attention something and concentrate on something the brain also changes their activity. So we capture that kind of signals and personalize our algorithm and we provide real-time data using Unity API. So you can make uh, all kind of VR contents like a super power game and neuro gaming and neuro entertainment and all kind of thing you can make by our uh, Luxid link. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the demo that I had the chance to play, I was able to focus intensely on bringing a bunch of boxes off of the ground and rising them to the ceiling. And, it, and when I'm focusing it on it, it almost kind of gives me the feeling that I have a power of, of levitation or the force or something from, from Star Wars. And then whew, I relax and I empty, boom, and all of the blocks fell. And that was a pretty crazy experience. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, I think this is a, a kind of special interface for VR. So uh, VR headset is uh, the first device we wear on the head. So we believe it can. It is a, the only device can connect the brain to display mm. directly. Yeah. So mm. that's the reason why we made this kind of interface. Mm -hmm. There's obviously some concerns that start to get arise when people start talking about reading your brain and, and all of that. Um, you know, these sensors when you attach them to their head, is there any is there any chance of like being hurt by that? Does it get hot or anything? No. Uh, we designed the, our our sensor. This is a very flexible uh, PCB. So um, when you're wearing this headset, you cannot feel any kind of pain. And the, uh, this is a very comfortable uh, design. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, we believe this can help you um, a kind of the um, thinking, uh, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so. Yeah, don't worry about that. Good, good. Put put that at ease. So um, you guys are also developing eye tracking software mm. and technology to be combined with VR as well. Do you want to tell me a little bit about that? Oh, yes. Um, we developed the eye tracking uh, looking like this. And uh, these eye tracking sensors can capture your uh, where you are looking at. But uh, using the just only eye tracking, we cannot track what they felt and what they, what what they uh, what they uh, how much uh, how much concentrate on mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. so we combine eye tracking and brain waves to track the user's cognitive and the emo emotional uh, data mm -hmm. yes yeah, so yeah so, um, you know, kind of continuing on the conversation about some of the concerns that come with this, you know, this is like some pretty uh, intimate information that you're starting to gather. You're gathering the way people feel about stuff, you're gathering where their gaze goes and, and what they look at. Um, do you ever consider some of the negative implications of the technology, like maybe it falling into the wrong hands, stuff like that? Yes. Um uh, that's the reason why we are now focusing on the education and healthcare. Yeah, so uh, this kind of information can uh, can make a, a kind of negative uh, applications. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is very uh, individual and uh, very sensitive information yeah. for person. So uh, we believe uh, our, uh, for example, using our uh, uh, applications. The ADHD kids learn how they attend, how they concentrate on something. And uh, in in our uh, previous uh, research, we proved that our solution can help ADHD kids to help um, to 
how can I say they care their uh, attention skills. Mm -hmm. So it, by this kind of application, we wanted to help people do not want to um, do not want to make a negative applications. Right. Yeah. Right. Do you ever feel like it's the responsibility? I mean, because you guys aren't the only ones who are developing this kind of technology or software that gathers this kind of intimate yeah. information from people. Do you ever feel like there is a responsibility on the developer to to maintain some kind of like moral compass, or do you think that like you know we're just going to make the technology and then we can kind of figure out the best way to implement it later? Um, so we have a policy about the licensing. Yeah? So this is a development kit. Uh, using our development kit, you, you can make any kind of thing. But uh, if you wanted to commercialize our thing that are based on our device, you have to discuss this issue mm -hmm. with us. Yeah? So uh, we, will, we will check the application, and uh, we wanted to discuss the, the, the negative Mm -hmm. things or something and uh, yeah we will make that yes yeah, so. one of the other demos that you guys are showing here is this really beautiful uh, environment where you're fighting a dragon with different fireballs and the harder you focus on creating the, the fireball the more it grows and the, and the more power it gets and then you do more damage <laughs> yeah. so this is like a really fun application of something like that um, what are some other examples of a way that you can have fun using this kind of technology uh, for example, the, this is a kind of a superhero, superhero game. And uh, the other side, we, uh, now our partner now developing the new entertainment. New entertainment means uh, the cinema, VR cinema, or VR storytelling, based on their feeling and their attention. So mm. it, it will change the the, the movie and uh, movie market or other uh, mm. movie market. Yes. So so kind of like if I'm watching a movie. It can tell that I'm getting bored, and it could like throw in like an action <laughs> sequence to keep me keep me connected. Yes, yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had an absolute blast demoing this stuff, and we love what you guys are doing. Um, if anyone is interested in like learning more about this, or maybe somebody wants to try it for themselves, are there any opportunities for that? Uh, yeah, two weeks ago we launched our Luxy Link. So. Uh, Visit our website and uh, we sell our product uh, with the price uh, 300 US dollar. Now, until December, we discount at 20%. So you can buy two, uh, two, three, nine US dollars. So yeah. Wow. So you can buy you can buy this technology and attach it to your device now. Uh, not not our device. The oh, HTC well, Vive. My uh, my device. Uh, yeah. I my own device. Yes. Just only 300 US dollar, you can you can access your brain to virtual reality. That is incredible. And what and what and what devices are compatible? Uh, so HTC Vive and Vive Pro and Vive Pro I. So uh, uh, we will release the uh, extension kit for Oculus Rift and uh, Oculus Quest uh, next January. Yes. Yeah, so wow. So next January, Oculus Quest owners can also put a brain interfacing technology on their standalone VR headset. Yes, yes, that's right. Wow, well, we are super excited about this, and we're going to be following you guys around and uh, staying very close uh, with the development of all of this stuff. And like he said, check out Luxid Labs online at their website. And thank you so much, Brian, for taking the time, man. Thank you, thank you. Of course. We'll see you guys soon.